Good morning, morning from very nearly close to Princess Keys. I mean, the ship is anchored. We're just not quite there yet. That's true. <laughs> they are calling tender groups. Now, we did not require going up and getting a tender ticket because Miss D has priority tender. I know. <laughs> Um, so they've started to call the groups out and all that stuff, but we're going to go grab some food at the International Cafe. Mm -hmm. Coffee. And then um, go ashore. I'm excited. It looks like nice and flat out there because yeah. last time we got like blasted it with was waves. Rough. So we're hoping yeah. for the best in the snorkeling. If you're watching any video of ours for the first time and you've never been to Princess Keys, water shoes are yes. a must. That's my number one tip. Wear water shoes. You will thank me later. Yeah, all right. Anyway, definitely. breakfast. Let's go. <laughs> It is weird when you come to the elevator lobby, you have to do a call there, a call over here for these two elevators, another call for those two elevators, and a call over there. So you have to put in four separate calls. If you want the best chance. <laughs> yeah. Well, I managed to hold down a table while Dee went up and got us some snacks. We got some of those McMuffiny type sandwiches and some bananas and a couple of icy, icy coffees. That's Hamper, Burgundy, and Brussels. Please proceed to deck four forward, just past the guest services desk. And I'll Interesting. So they use city names instead of numbers for their tender group tickets. Hmm. Now we will jump up to take five, which is on deck. Six, oddly enough. Just past the casino. Ooh, all this shiny, glittery wall. That's right, so this is kind of the jazz bar music concept. Very swanky. I'm sure we'll end up in here sometime. Well, just like that, we're heading to the midship gangway. Pontunaria, we're looking for Tallinn, Taronga, and Rome. Last tender, 4.30. Welcome to the gangway. And they are handing out towels right here, which is perfect. Ooh, down the stairs to the lifeboat. This is one of the few times that I ever hope to be in a lifeboat. But hey, we can check it out. Kind of tight quarters, you have to go knee to knee, so uh, I'm going <laughs> knee to knee with D today. It makes more sense because we both have long legs. That's true, but we got a nice window view. There we go. Let's ride. dropped us off over here on what I would call the less popular side of the island, which is interesting. I mean, you've got a choice of which one you want to go to. Yes, I remember the old electrical shock grill over there. It's been a while since we've done this side. Funny thing is, we were talking about doing this side first today anyway, so what luck. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Yeah, one good thing about this side is it is less rocky over here than it is on the side where most people usually go, so I do appreciate that. Yes, yeah, so we can see all the way down there to the other more populous end. <laughs> I forget. One of these is called North and South, but I always forget <laughs> which is which. I don't remember these little lifeguard huts over on this side of the island last time we were here, so maybe they've done some stuff uh -uh. since we've come to this side. Looking at this buoy line, it kind of dips in this way. I think they're trying to remove the option of you swimming on the outside of these rocks, which obviously, you know, for safety's sake, that makes sense. But as Dee just said, that's where all her fish are. <laughs> Man, okay, well, we'll have to see what fish can be seen over here <laughs> in this little small zone. And then we'll probably end up over on the other side where all the rocks and the fish and the snorkel pavilion. And now I'm just enjoying the animal. That's true. Yeah, this is very refreshing. It's been, gosh, I do not remember the last time we came over to this side. So, hey, this is exciting. Oh, the first time. I remember that, that yeah. He 
is reporting lots of reef squid. Yeah, even over in this little cove, they've got the buoy line stretched out between the rocks to keep you safe so you can't get out there too far. But there's still some stuff to be seen, apparently. We've heard folks talk about big fish over in this zone. So you found a moderately sized tang. Tang, girl, that's good enough. <laughs> It's definitely sandy over on this side though. So if for some reason you came to Princess Keys and didn't bring your water shoes, when you get off the tenders, come, um, you know, hang a right and come this way because this is actually pretty nice and sandy. If you hang a left, I mean, relatively speaking, and go that way over toward the popular side, that's where the rocks are. That's where the water shoes are needed. Yeah, this is actually pretty nice. I can see your striped friend from oh, above water. So pretty. Oh, I do see him. So pretty. He matches your headband. <laughs> Your snorkel oh. band. What's that thing called? A hair preserver. A hair preserver. Yeah. So that's what I need to do. Instead of captioning, I just need to listen to you and I can translate in real time snorkel talk. That's way easier okay, than editing. All right. What did I just say? What did I just say? Good job. Good job. There's a fish. There's a fish. I think it's a grunt. I think it's a grunt. Yeah. People, Good job. people be like, this is annoying. Don't ever do this again. <laughs> Today is very clear. Today is very clear. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to be more specific in what I say. Oh, you're trying to be more specific in what you, what you say? Like you're trying to enunciate? Correct. Okay. When I see fish, I don't care. I just talk. When you see fish, you don't care. You just talk. Yeah, you just go in like blah, blah mode, which yeah. is fun. <laughs> hey, little guy. Hey, little guy. Oh, you're so tiny. Oh, you're so tiny? Mm -hmm. Guys, that's it. You're on your own. Pretty sure she said it was tiny and blue, so uh -huh. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> Made it out to the buoy line. Ah, looks like they've broken out some pretty substantially sized tender vessels now, so not just the lifeboats, I presume. I just saw a big full boat of folks coming over. That's probably how they accommodate like accessibility because I know some of the, like, the tender we got on was not accessible, but they are running some that are obviously. So they'll let you know what you need if you need that option. Good to see. We have come back to land mode, and I think we're gonna go into food mode. Woohoo! So the Sea Breeze Grill is open and ready for business. Well, it looks like it's burgers and dogs. I do see potato salad and corn and cucumbers and things up there. And they do have at least two buffet lines open serving everybody. Yeah, there's not any signs out here, but I'm seeing burgers, dogs, different kinds of dogs, maybe some chicken or ribs up there. And we've got condiments, cookies, brownies, and a little beverage station. All right, so got whole fruit. They've also got pineapple, watermelon, cantaloupe, and honeydew up there undercover for protection. There we go. We've got some buffet selections. I got a giant rib, some chicken. There's a little um, sausage type thing under there. Burgers, sides, and even a fly. Whoops. <laughs> well, you'll be happy to know I did not consume that fly, but everything else I consumed was quite delicious. I think we are going to jump over to the other side of the island now. Go up and over this little bridge. Not yet, sign. Not yet. All right, so welcome to the other side of Princess Keys. There is the stingray enclosure and the swim zone. Time for water mode on this side. Looks like since we recall last, they have also installed buoy lines around the outside of these little outcroppings, because I know we used to be able to get in here and swim around the outside and all that stuff, so they have shut that down. It's pretty stirred up out here, probably just because folks have been out here all day. I know the best snorkel is usually in the morning. We'll see what can be seen. There's some shallow rocks and things up here. That was half the fun, though, swimming around the outside and seeing what was out there. <laughs> we'll have to see if we can get to the old uh, snorkeling pavilion and look underneath it like we like to, too. They might have taken that away. Well, let's go ahead and see if we can answer this question, actually. So if we come down here, see if the jet ski zone still works the way it used to. 
Oh yeah, it looks like it. See, they've got a swimming zone out there that lets you go past that pavilion, which is perfect. That's what I remember. And it's actually surprisingly sandy over here. I don't know if they've gotten rid of some rocks or maybe we're just here on a day where the tides have pushed the sand in. That's cool. Hopefully not too stirred up over here. We'll let Mermaid D go see what she can see. But glad to report that you can still swim at least somewhat out in front of the pavilion. Fishy mermaid update. <laughs> so I'm happy to report you can still swim in front of the pavilion. There are still just as many fish, a uh, good variety of them, all sizes and shapes. And there's still the purple coral fan out there. Ooh. There was a guy who was feeding them an entire loaf of bread. So well, there's lots gosh. of fish at one point you'll yeah. see in my video. Um, <laughs> don't really condone that but True. Um, yeah still a really good area probably a little clearer in the morning when it's not so stirred up but it was still not bad over there because not too many people venture that way so and you can stand on the bridge and take pictures if you're not into snorkeling and see the fish that oh, way yeah. right up yeah. there so still good at princess <laughs> <Yay. laughs> alright well we might venture back into land mode yeah. now and think about heading back whoosh, over there to our <laughs> vessel so cool <laughs> nice little float it's been good way. yeah I will wander out past the kids' play area. I hear tunes bumping up here. Got grab and go water right there. Oh, popular time to get back on. Now we just go through security and out to the tender. Oh, looks like we're about the last ones to fill up this particular vessel. D thinks our captain sounds like a famous animated character. See if you can guess. Clear sky. Don't forget to move your devices and clocks one hour forward just before you retire for bed. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of all of us here on board of the Magnificent Sky Princess, we wish you a wonderful evening on board. Good evening. Good evening. It is fresh and clean mode. It smells so much better. <laughs> Yeah, did you guess? Yeah, did you pause, pause the video if you have to and guess who you think that D thinks that our captain sounds like? I'll give you a hint. It's an animated villain. Uh huh. Pause the video. Have you made your comment yet? All right, who is it? Gru from Despicable Me. The first time we heard him yesterday, I just started laughing. And he's like, what? I was like, he sounds like Gru. It's not Certain, every sentence, no. but he definitely does. I think it's fantastic that Gru is our, our it captain. Is. Steve it's a little Carell scary, is too, up though. Because yeah. uh, Gru is a little mean. <laughs> Uh, Y'all, it's great. We're done with Princess Keys. Everybody's back on board. We're sailing away. We got about an hour till dinner. I think yeah. we're gonna go hang out and just and then dinner. Drink will a happen. gallon of water. We're uh, so thirsty. That. Um, yeah. Any random? Not that we need words about Princess Keys. No, but it was. Hey. Um, it was great. We hung out on the other side, and it was mm. the clearest I've ever seen it over there. I feel like they've removed some rocks from some places. There were not as There's many. definitely still large rocks, but I feel like there used to be more. I don't know, or hurricanes, who knows? Maybe the but, sand shifted. Yeah, but so clear. My reef squid were my buddies. That was awesome to see. The lunch was really good. They have ribs, which yeah, I there's more stuff. think we've seen on when we've been here with Carnival before. Right. Uh, having the drink package on the island is great. Mm -hmm. The Wi-Fi we tried. It's there. It acts like it wants to work. But it wouldn't connect yeah. for me. So I can't verify that Wi-Fi <laughs> works, but drink package does mm -hmm. when you come on Princess. Carnival, right. no. Right now. But Princess, yes. Yeah, you can buy drinks on Carnival, Correct. But your package won't work. So. Hmm. It's enough info for now. That's all, y'all. <laughs> we got to go to dinner. Yeah. We're trying one of the other dining rooms mm -hmm. tonight, but it's like the, they have the same menu in all the dining rooms. Yeah. So let's go. All right. <laughs> Ooh, 
got some music with some guira action happening down in the piazza. I have a guira. I've never learned how to play it properly. Looks like Good Spirits is open. We're kind of just in the mood for water. And P.S. They've decorated for Christmas. This is this this was not here this morning, was it? <laughs> yeah. If these uh, garlands and things were out this morning, we completely missed it. That's hilarious. Sitting over here, overlooking the photo studio. They've got all the digital stuff going on here, of course. Let's go. Oh, they've got the Good Spirits at Sea experience starting up here. We saw it on. I want to say Enchanted. It was either Enchanted or Discovery. Discovery? Okay. Where they had the special menu and each cocktail was from a different place and they would show you how to make it. So they're making a drink called Butterfly right now. Well, they're doing the destinations. Nice. Yeah, so the little QR menu, I couldn't find their destination uh, menu like we saw in Discovery, but that's cool that they still do that. Welcome to Estrella Dining Room. Whoop, we are with reservation. So most of these main dining rooms have the same kind of feel. Same menu, obviously, each night. Not from night to night, but you know, on any given night, every dining room will have the same menu. There is our dinner menu for tonight. This is the starters as salads and soups. Oh, pastas there. Of course, mains. A selection of breads and of course, butter. The dessert menu has arrived. There is all of your uh, liquid desserts, as it were. And here are your solid desserts. I'm gonna have to use that phrasing now. Liquid desserts and solid desserts, no. I think we're gonna take a dip into the celebrations store, which is where sundries are located, because we could use some sundries. They've got rum cakes, nibbly fingers. I don't even know what nibbly fingers are. Prangles, giant tubs of Mentos. All right, and we got what we need. Guess what we left in the car? Pain relievers. I guess he has a backache. I know, Dee has a backache from super snorkeling. <laughs> Alright, solved that problem. Now we are going to head up to deck six. Oh, Ooh, jazzy. Let's go to seven. Well, we have come to Princess Live. They're having some kind of smarty game show in here. <laughs> They've got chairs on the stage. They've got a funky looking table up there. So I think the event tonight is called Mind Duel. Yep, there it is. Bit of music, bit of movies, bit of general knowledge. It's basically going to see if you guys are smarter than us crew staff. So it is more of a trivia, sort of an are you smarter than the crew's staff. So we've grabbed a paper. Let's we'll see if we are. Tonight, I'm going to allow you to go head to head with the onboard activity staff. Now, they do all your trivia, your game shows, and they brag like we know trivia with the best. So tonight, it is you versus them. There's going to be four rounds. Five questions per round, 20 questions in total. We're looking for the winner of the round. It's our first round, we are going to entertainment. So you want to pick somebody that doesn't know, <laughs> this is the job we do, that doesn't know entertainment. Because you're going to go head to head with them, obviously you want to win. Next round, music. Oh, the DJ's that. We're going to test you on some music <laughs> through the decades. Uh, general knowledge round, I want you to find out which one of these lovely people thinks Pluto is a friend of Mickey Mouse and not something in the solar system. And then the final round will be my quick fire challenge. I'll be asking you as many questions as I can in 60 seconds. The person that answers the most correct will walk away victorious. Fire! 
Oh, we're down to the final round. One audience Carrie. member versus a cruise staff. All of them. All of them. Oh, the audience member got them all right. Okay. My auntie Sue went to Egypt, a beautiful bottle of a sphinx that she bought in a souvenir store that she now keeps on top of a fireplace that she never bought in Egypt or from the souvenir store. My question is, what anti did what year did my auntie buy the sphinx? 1988 or 1989? What? Folks, have a fantastic evening. I've been Matt. Good luck to me, Goodbye, everybody. Next up in this lounge, they are setting up for karaoke. Well, they've got a QR code over there on a sign that gets you their PDF songbook, which is 200 and some pages long. That's impressive. They have the best musical selection I've ever seen. A lot of musicals? Yeah, wow. It had to happen. <laughs> So up next is 80s music trivia. We're just going to use the back of the trivia paper that we used earlier. <laughs> We're going to go through our 20 songs. We need to write down, pay attention here, the name of the song and the artist. Ah, see. 20 points. Yeah. That was exciting. All right, let's go downward. We have come to International Cafe for late night snacks. Oh, they have a key lime tart. No sugar added and, wow, coconut pudding. There's quite a few no sugar added things, actually. Yeah, the blueberry cake is no animal product. Key lime tart is no sugar. What else was down there? Fruit cocktail shortcake, no sugar. No wheat, no animal product in the coconut pudding. That's cool. And a mortadella cheese or salami sandwich. Down here we had egg sandwich, tuna sandwich, oh, brie. There's chicken pot pie, salmon, and spinach quiche. D has gone what? Coconut pudding yes. and a mortadella and cheese sandwich. I got a little no sugar added key lime tart. And an egg sandwich. I thought it was egg salad, but it actually looks like it's scrambled eggs and cheese. So. Update. It was hot egg salad. Never mind. No scrambled eggs and cheese. It was good though, and I'm sure you could ask him to not heat it if you like cold egg salad like I usually do. But I mean. Egg salad was pretty good form. We have come back to the cabin to find fresh undies on the bed. Yes, we sent in a laundry bag, paper for tomorrow, and some other stuff, and a time change notice because we are springing one hour forward so that we can match St. Thomas time. Good, Good night. night. We are back in the cabin. We lose an hour. Yes, I know. <laughs> it's 11 something now, which means it's really going to be 12 uh, something now. That's okay. Yeah, so how was your day? Day was great. Princess Keys, beautiful weather, mm. perfect. Um, and then the evening was wonderful. Dinner was great. I loved that sweet potato with a pulled pork. It's a pork. I wasn't expecting that, but it was delicious. Don't know if it's on every menu because it's like a Caribbean dish. So. Oh, gotcha. Mm -hmm. I had not seen it before, nope. I don't think. Yeah, that was good. Um, and then we did the game show, which was really fun. Mm. Their game shows on Princess are always really fun. Get involved. You don't actually have to like necessarily go up on stage, but everybody can typically play, which I like. Yeah, it's usually the same time every night. You fall into this routine where you know your shows are going to be 7.30, 9.30. Your game show is going to be 8.30. Yeah. You know, there's trivia at 7.30, 10.30. Karaoke, 9.30. It's like the same schedule every night, but, but it's it not it easy, the same. Because you can bounce mm -hmm. around and do different things. Um, yeah. Karaoke is fantastic on the oh. show. We've never participated in Princess Carrie. I don't think we oh have. no, I did the the voice. Besides that. <laughs> Besides that, but this is great. pre-pandemic. Um, because they scan the QR code and you have the whole book on your phone Turn instead of having to like look at the whole like three books for everybody to look at. It's yeah. great. And a huge like list of songs, mm -hmm. best I've ever seen, honestly. So that was awesome. And then 80s trivia. Woo! We did not win. <laughs> it was fun. We fought hard. Yeah. So it was a great night. 
now we're going to bed. So Very we'll see much. you tomorrow. We have our first full day. That didn't come out. First full day at sea tomorrow. Packed with activities. Yeah. yeah. Excited. So we'll see you. We are really we are. We're, moving. <laughs> we're getting from the Bahamas down to St. Thomas. Yeah. So we'll see you tomorrow on the sea day. Good night.